welcome to my java video series today we'll talk about some important thing which is required to start java programming so we'll talk about jdk jre integrated development environment development environment and then production environment so let's begin from what is development environment <coughs> development environment is a place where we develop the software for example a software company's environment will be a development environment because we develop software in a software company so software company is your development environment and there are different software developers working in a software company and they required different development tools for developing the software for example we required compiler it is called java c we required debugger to debug the program we required java virtual machine to run the java programs we required packaging tool so when java project is developed it has to be packaged as a single file which is a distribution file and that is given to the client so there are different packaging options available in java using jar file just like jar file var file and enterprise archive ear web archive war and java archive jar java archive is a jar jar stands for library file in java and there are some other tools we required to uh, for source code documentation that is your java documentation tool and uh, sometime we required uh, applet where to uh, test the applet application to run the applet application so all these are different development tools we required to develop java programs and jdk jdk installation contains all these tools when we, when we install jdk in our computer all these tools will be available as part of your jdk so jdk is nothing but your java development kit which contains all development tools now we have seen sdk it's a very common term used for software development kit sdk so sdk is a general term it is used for any programming language for example i can call .NET SDK, I can call Java SDK, I can call PHP SDK, I, I can call Python SDK, like that. But it is exclusively known as JDK in Java. So JDK is nothing but a SDK because JDK contains all development tools and SDK contains all development tools. But here in Java it's named as JDK. So JDK and SDK both are same but in terms of java it is we call it jdk now let's talk about ide so ide stands for integrated development environment development environment is a place where we develop software and we require different tools to develop the software which are available inside jdk and all these different tools are integrated in your ide means all JDK tools like compiler, Java virtual machine, Java documentation compiler, JAR tool, all, the, all these tools are integrated and accessible inside one single software and that software is called IDE. We have different IDEs popular in a market like Eclipse is one of the best ID. It is provided by IBM. It's an open source tool. Uh, we can use this tool without any cost and uh, NetBeans is an official Java development ID and this is provided by Oracle Corporation or you can call it JavaSoft it is an open source ID we can use this in fact I'm using NetBeans as part of uh, my training session and development because this is one of the easiest tool for a beginner but uh, from the industry point of view Eclipse and NetBeans both will be a good choice and if your company can afford Idea IntelliJ this is another good tool but it is a commercial tool you need to buy the license but this is a wonderful tool in fact uh, Android Studio uh, which is provided by Google is built on this Idea IntelliJ so anyway let's move on to the Eclipse Eclipse MyClips is another tool which is a commercial tool built on the top of Eclipse so if your company can buy this tool we can go with this but my personal preference to go with the Eclipse or NetBeans these both are excellent tools for uh, writing the Java applications and one more thing we have to discuss here 
production environment production environment is a place where my software will be used by clients so generally client environment is your production environment so what client required to run a java program client required java runtime environment so jre is an installation package we need to install in customer machine in a client environment where my software will be used by the client so jre do not require compiler jre do not contains compiler jre do not contains uh, you can say it is a debugger and all so jre contains only tools which is required for running the java program so i can simply define through equation jre equals to jvm plus java library so we required uh, java virtual machine to run a java program and we required java library because when we start writing a project so many existing library features we required from java library so it is a combination jre is a combination of java virtual machine and java library so what we have to install today to start development of java we need to install jdk and there is no standard procedure required to in, uh, install jdk you just have to double click on the setup and next 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 finish jdk will be installed so when when you are taking your project in client environment you have to install jre so in development environment you have to install jdk and for production environment you need to install jre java runtime environment right one more thing you need to install that is ide integrated development environment because being a software developer you required a very good software tool for your productive development so ide will be your friend which can help you to which can boost up your software development activity and which can manage your all whole project in a simple manner because we cannot do the real software development from the command line that is a tricky process and time taking process so anyway but being a software developer to start learning any programming language it is always recommended to practice from the command line tools so i'll cover up both the approaches command line approach as well as through the ide and i advise you to practice in both environment 50 50 Fifty percent programs you have to run from command line, and fifty percent you have to run from NetBeans. I think this will be a great idea so that you can speed up your learning curve, and uh, it will be easier for you to learn tools also. So thank you very much for now. We'll discuss more in next series. Thank you very much.